Well, I ask you a question. Do you know that your president, President William Ruto, immediately after taking over the office as of the president of the Republic of Kenya, he started the initiation of the Adani deal. That is two years ago. Unajua sayi ndiyo mmejua kuhusiana na Adani. Lakini kitu ambacho mkijui is that your president, President William Ruto, had a game plan even before he was elected as the president of the Republic of Kenya. That is to sell the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to Adani, sell the Kenya power to Adani, and also formulate a new health care solution which will, be also which will also be under Adani Group. Mulijuayo. Now you didn't know about all that. And right now, I'm bringing the story to you. So, let's get on. Kumbuka, ini celeb kona ke. Truth be told, our president, President William Ruto, cannot be speaking about growing the economy of a republic or growing the economy of this country while he himself is on the verge of trying to create his own conglomerate or his own business through the development projects of the Republic of Kenya. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this due to the current connections that we have discovered after dig digging deep into the biggest uh, deals and let me say biggest development projects that are meant to go down in this country, including most of them which are leaked to Adani Group. Now, this is a new revelation in regards to what is happening and how William Ruto is directly linked to Adani Group in the new healthy uh, reforms development project. Are you getting the point? So listen, President William Ruto has been championing for a, 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 a corruption-free government. But truth be told, our president has returned to his old ways being the most corrupt individual in the Republic of Kenya. Are you getting the point? The Adani link in Ruto 104 billion health care plan. Apero Limited, the largest shareholder in the Safaricom Consortium that has been awarded the contract for the technology-based system for the universal health care coverage, UHC, as business links to the Adani Group. Munaskia, kampuni ambayo inatambulikana kama Apero Limited ambayo ndiyo ina shares nyingi zaidi katika kampuni ya Safaricom, ambayo ndiyo iliweza kuzawadiwa tender ama contract ya teknolojia, ya the te technology based system for the universal health coverage. Mm? UHC, the universal health coverage. The company, Apero, we, is related to Safaricom. And the it has business links to the Adani Group. The Apero Company is direct business links to President William Ruto and the Adani Group. The government awarded the consortium a contract to provide an integrated health care technology system, IHTS, for the UHC program. Uh, each of the three firms will contribute to the 104.8 billion needed to implement, maintain, and support the IHTS system over the next 10 years based on the shareholding. The Abu Dhabi farm owns 59.55% of the stake in the consortium. Safaricom has a 22.52% stake while Converge, Converge's Network Solutions Limited has a shareholding of 17.89%. Tunaelewana mpaka hapo? The Abu Dhabi farm inamiliki aslimia amsini na tisa nukta tano tano. That is 59.55%. The stake in the consortium. Safaricom ikona, ikona percentage ya 22.55%. While the last one, ni kampuni ambayo inatambulikana kama 
Convergence Network Solutions Limited. Con ina iko na jina ya K O N V E R G E N Z Network Solutions Limited. Iko na shareholding of a 17.89%. Now the firms will recoup their investment through monthly installments that will be paid starting February next year 2025 upon hitting the said performance milestone. Ikumbukwe also President William Ruto has a very high shares he is one of the biggest shareholders in the Safaricom company. Now Apero is a subsidiary of a Budhabi based investment firm. Skiza ile kampuni ambayo iliweza kupewa e contract ya Apero ambayo tumesema ilipewa e contract listen Apero Limited the largest shareholder ya Safaricom I, inaaminika the Apero ni subsidiary of the Abu Dhabi based investment firm Cyrus International Holding Cyrus itself is a subsidiary of International Holding Limited IHL creating a web of companies that make it hard to track the beneficial owners tunaelewana kampuni ambazo ziko hapa na majina ya makampuni ni mingi sana jambo ambalo linafanya hiwe vigumu sana aswa kugundua wa, ambao wamiliki wa hizi kampuni ni akina nani na wale ambao wananufaika aswa na hizi tenders wenyewe ni akina nani tunaelewana mpaka hapo umesikia majina ya kampuni ambazo zimetajwa kuna Apeiro ambayo iko linked to Abu Dhabi apart from Abu Dhabi tuko na kampuni nyingine nayo inaitwa Cyrus Holding zote hizi kampuni tatu they are direct linked but they create a web zinatengeneza picha fulani hivi ya kuficha biashara zao ndio isijulikane aswa nani ndiye nani ambaye ni ambaye ndiye beneficiary mwenyewe ndiye nani now Cyrus is currently in a joint venture with the Dani in which they run a company known as Cyrus Digtech Limited kampuni ya Cyrus ambayo is a subsidiary of the International Holding Limited ambayo pia iko linked na Abu Dhabi na Apeiro zinamiliki kampuni ambayo inatambulikana kama Cyrus Digtech Limited ambayo hii kampuni ipo chini ya the conglomerate ya Adani Group tunaelewana i know ni majina mengi ambayo yanatajwa na yanapata kukukanganya lakini ukisikiza if you listen carefully you will realize that all these things correlate all these things they create one picture and one umbrella which is corruption and trying to hide and also to i mean they are trying to hide their footprints so that they can't be tracked tukiendelea in july this year this joint venture announced the acquisition of Correggio Private Limited which they called a cutting edge sovereign AI and cloud platform company. The Adani Group has recently gained notoriety in Kenya after it emerged that the Indian conglomerate is in negotiations to operate the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport for a period of 30 years. Mpaka hapo tuko pamoja. Now the group is also in negotiation for a multi-billion dollar long-term lease contract in Kenya's energy sector. Listen, the group is also in negotiation for a multi-billion dollar long-term lease contract in Kenya's energy sector. Meaning the Adani group iko katika mahusiano pia ya kuweza kupatiwa umiliki wa kampuni ya Kenya Power ndio ikue now what does it mean you know they have been given wamepatiwa the health care system wamepatiwa the JKI wanaenda kupatiwa Kenya Power which means this country will be run by private conglomerates yani sisi ni kama tutakuwa tukifanyia kazi mataifa tutakuwa tukifanyia kazi kampuni ambazo zinatoka kwa mataifa ya kigeni 
you, you sit down and wonder how does Ruto reason? Ujamao reasonaje? Because President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta accepted the deal ya kumalizia SGR na China. So this makes William Ruto now want to lease everything that this country has to conglomerates. Alafu, these conglomerates are linked to Ruto. Hizi kampuni zimefanya biashara na Rais William Ruto hapo kitambo. Tuendelee tu mtagundua so that you will understand what I I wonder why we are being so naive as a country kwa mambo mengine kama haya. Because these are the things where a country goes bankrupt alafu mnaacho mkishangaa what really happened. Eh, hey, tunaacho kuomba chakula as a country. Now listen. The business partnership have for the first time created a link between Adani and the President William Ruto championed UHC. For less known, however, in the third member of the consortium, Convergence Network Solution, its website claims to operate in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, with its address listed as for the Avenue Towers in Hapail. It is noteworthy that the Safaricom consortium with the inve will invest the full project cost and recover their investment over 10 years by payment of monthly installment. The installment payments will commence from February 2025 based on the successful implementation of the project. This is what was said by the Medical Service Principal Secretary Harry Kimutai in a press statement on Friday, which was yesterday. The Safaricom Consortium is said to have, to have been picked to implement the big money project through a specially permitted procurement procedure under the Public Procurement and Assets Disposal Act. The Adani link, e, link in the UHC project comes at a time the company is trying to put out fires that have been lit under its feet by civil society groups that are opposed to its 2 billion US dollars which is the 258 billion takeover of the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport at the JKIA. Last week, Adani argued in court that its JKIA takeover on a 30-year concession would be of tremendous benefit to the Kenyan public. Uh, uh, are we as the Kenyan public, do, do we as the Kenyan public look as if we need you? Sisi tunakatu na waitaji nini? Now, let, let's, let's continue because this thing always, when I, when I get to, to speak about the business of the Republic, when I feel as if our watu huwa wananiguza maali because they are playing with the future of our children. They are messing with, our, with the future of our generation. Hmm? If the contract, listen, if the contract is signed as proposed in the PPI, privately initiated proposal, the project will elevate the status of JKIA and also offer an increase in job opportunities to the people of Kenya. That is what Adani said. In Kenya, Adani is being represented by well-known law firms, law firm, Dental, Dentals, Hamilton, Harrison and Matthews where lawyer Adil Kawanja is a senior partner. President William Ruto's son, Nick Ruto, also works at the law firm. Mr. Kawanja also currently serves as the chairman of Safaricom, which is the local face of the UHC contract. But it has also emerged that the events that led to Andani's proposed takeover of JKE kicked more than two years ago when President William Ruto took office. Unanielewa, a study whose findings are yet to be publicly re released that was undertaken by a Spanish firm in 2022 purportedly revealed a significant gap in the necessary infrastructure at JKIA to handle increased passenger traffic opened the door for the entry of a Dani group in Kenya. Now Spanish logistics and transport consultancy firm ALG Global was picked by the National Treasury's Public-Private Partnership, PPP, Directorate to create a national aviation policy as well as the investments 
that the country needed to make in its aviation infrastructure in the medium in the me in the medium term to establish itself as a major aviation hub tunaelewana mpaka hapo kuna ujunguzi ambao unafanywa na, kampu, na, na, na kampuni fulani kule katika nchi ya Spain na ujunguzi huu ulianza takriban miaka mbili iliyopita just after president william ruto took over the presidency hapo ndio mikakati ya kuweza kulis JKIA to a dani group started are we together which means it is not just a matter of a one night decision it's not just a matter that came to the public the other day in mikakati ruto even while as the deputy of president of the republic of kenya he knew the projects that he will undertake to enrich himself once he becomes the president of the republic of kenya did you know that let me tell you the reason why why he even planned before becoming the president before becoming the president ruto was rumored to be linked to adil kawanja adil kawanja is his personal lawyer it is his personal friend o jama yeye na ruto they operate in shandos he has been a ruto's friend for a very long time as it has been revealed several times adil kawanja and president william ruto were traveling to dubai on several occasions while ruto was the deputy president of the republic of kenya walikuwa wanapatana dubai huko ndio walikuwa wana transact their businesses in aminika account za benki za adil kawanja uh, I, i mean the president william ruto zilikuwa uh, account za benki zilikuwa zimefunguliwa kwa jina la adil kawanja kule abu dhabi lakini pesa zilikuwa zake william ruto that is back in the year 2021 2020 wakati ruto alikuwa dp and he was running for the presidency so then they planned and laid out a structure that you need to plan on how you will take over the country after becoming the president what are the projects that you are going to implement ambazo zitatuwekea pesa kwa mifuko sisi kama wafadhili wako ruto na sisi kama marafiki zako one to lease jkia here to make sure that me as a deal kawanja becomes the ceo of safaricom safaricom is the biggest company the tech is the biggest tech company in east and central africa tunaelewana it is the biggest so if this man is now the ceo of safaricom that means ruto has paid his due to his friends na sasa after kuingia tu mikakati ya kuuza JKIA ikaanza tunaelewana now nikiendelea a hell global is a subsidiary of indra group a madrid based holding company with interest in global defense air traffic and space companies the firm which has 57000 workers worldwide made 4.343 billion euros which is equal to 624.5 billion kenyan shillings revenues in 2023 and quoting this alg was engaged by kenyan's military ministry of national treasury and planning to provide consultancy services for the development of an aviation policy for kenya and to review the proposed medium term investment requirements for enhancing its aviation infrastructure and related services particularly at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi said the firm on its official website so i and your maneno yaliweza kuwa published so the ministry of national treasury and planning to provide consultancy services waliweza ku reach out the, the, the ministry of national treasury will reach out to ALG wakawambia they need a structural plan that is back in 22 in the year 2022 immediately after Ruto took over the office waliwambia they need a plan on how 
to deal do, 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 I mean nataka nirudie tena ndio tuelewane hapa ALG was engaged by Kenya's Ministry of National Treasury and Planning to provide consultancy services for the development of an aviation policy for Kenya walilipo walikuwa wanatafuta services gani for development of an aviation policy for Kenya and to review the proposed medium term investment requirement requirements for enhancing its aviation infrastructure and related services particularly they reached out the national treasury reached out particularly because of one entity in this republic that is Jomo Kenyatta International Airport now when he appeared before the senate committee on roads transport and housing last week roads and transport cabinet secretary davis chirichi revealed that ALG study set the stage for the pivot towards public private partnerships PPPs for development of airports due to financial constraints at the ex, uh, at the ex, ex tech here. and I shall quote it the infrastructure deficit was an output of the national aviation policy study and medium term investment plan of December 2022 done by ALG of Spain that's what Churchill said and he continued the government is pursuing the PPP model on account of physical constraints in the face of acute infrastructure constraints he said now once ALG finished the national treasury assignment it was also had picked by the Kenya Airports Authority KK, KAA to undertake a feasibility study on JKIA which would later be used in their Dani deal KAA revealed that ALG was not competit competitively recruited to undertake the feasibility study on JKIA and that it was singularly sourced Skiza we wrote on their institution institutional memory and the fact that they had data so we recruited them directly to do so for us the the, uh, the feasibility study said KAA acting managing director Henry Ogoye when he appeared before the senate alongside Mr Churchill additionally ALG was also involved in the drafting of the heads of terms between KAA and Adani ends of terms are prim, prim, preliminary agreements that precede substantive contract negotiation Mr Churchill also named Kenyan law firm Ashitiva Advocates as one of the firms that were involved in the drafting of the document even as senators threatened to have made the law to force state officials to promptly reveal any pri privately initiated proposals submitted by investors this listen to what Sifuna said in in the senate i think the committee will be making a recommendation that we make an amendment to the law on PPP that immediately somebody arrives at your office with a so-called privately initiated proposal within 48 hours you must disclose now according to its website ashitiva advocates dis describes itself as a specialist law firm in energy natural resources and infrastructure financial services and construction telecommunication media and technology listen I do not have this information with me at the moment. Please let me consult Nelson Ashitiva, a senior partner at the firm, and we will respond on Monday, said a representative of the law firm when contacted by National Nation Africa for further information on its role in the Adani JKIA deal. Adani is also in talks with the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Ketraco for a nine, 95 billion contract for the construction of three high voltage power transmission lines and two substations adani is seeking to recoup 634.7 billion which is equal to 4.9 billion us dollars from the investment over a period of 30 years niambia tujauziwa inchi na ikumbukwe Adani is and I, I, I dare say if investigations are done correctly Adil Awanja is 
related to their Dani group family or to their Dani family. In, in a way he is. Either business wise he is their personal lawyer even in other countries. He is their representative even in other countries. Tunaelewana? Which tells you what? Adil Awanja being the personal lawyer and being the personal uh, uh, advocate for the Adani, Adani group he is also the personal lawyer to President William Ruth. What does this tell you? Adil Awanja and Ruto have been in business for years. It is believed in the year 2022, Ruto sold uh, him, uh, he, the, the, the said lawyer facilitated the sale of Ruto's uh, land of about 300 million, which was part of, of a certain forest in Kenya. And uh, through this guy, Ruto made sure that that information will never come to light. Tunaelewana. So Sai, we sit down, we talk. Let's speak as people that understand this republic. You know, the most evil people are people that ride on the name of God. Tunaelewana. People that take the advantage of the name of God are the most evil people in this, in this world. And Ruto is one of them. Let me tell you, imagine, um say, ni pesa ngapi atapata kutokia kwa ACHF, how much money will Ruto get from that deal? Go to, ke, to, ke, to Kentraco. Ni pesa ngapi Ruto anapata, unju wanaenda kupiga Kenya power out with their Danny group. Tell me, how much money is Ruto making from the 200, I don't know, and the, the 258 billion ambayo ni JKIA Adani deal. Those are three major infrastructures in this republic. And let me tell you, if these three major infrastructures fail, kwa sababu mutu walitaka kujinufaisha na pesa, then this country will be doomed. As a country, it will be doomed. Tunalewana. I live it there. Where maoni yako ni epi yes. Maoni yako ni epi. As I'm Kenya, tell me. Tell me. Mana nataka kujua. Mana mnatulia sana. Mnatulia sana. Munafanya wengi wetu tushiku yata na kiwewe. I tell you, I hang my boots. Make sure, umesubscribe.